Hello everybody and welcome back again to another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. Um, we just started on Mount Battle last time, so here we are still in the lobby, so to speak. We only made it through a couple of trainers, but we are going to continue on and we are going to just tear it up. Um, we have Yanma who is getting close, uh, Matt Dunsparce who has not done well anything and Mantine who is not really close at all either and then we have Amphros, Espeon, and Umbreon in our party because well you know we got to keep some that where we can actually get experience and have higher than base level plus Amphros is just good so is Umbreon and Espeon all right round three Oi. what's going on both Turo and Drovac went down that's weak I'm not going down easily. Why did Kimmet? Sandshrew and a Geodude. Um, well, nothing too spectacular. I guess. Well, we're gonna take out the Geo Dude. I cannot believe he survived. Did you see the like sliver of sliver of slivers that is his HP gauge now? The Swift hit both. It does, it does hit both. Maybe I should use Swift on Espeon. Look at that! You, good. Good, because you know what? You should not have lived through that. I don't know how much HP you had left. I'm gonna go ahead and say it was one, but no. No, 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 no. Oh, friggle fraggle, Numel. Oh, that's not good for Yama. <clears throat> yeah, target Numel. This should take out Numel. Should. Poor Numel. He just looks like such a sad Pokemon to me. I'm a little exhausted right now. It's been a long day. Got home after a long day of work, took my daughter outside to play, and she ended up like twisting her ankle or something, so we had to rush her to after hours care to the doctor. Oh, but thankfully it was just a twisted ankle or something. For a while, for like a little while after, like she could not walk on it. It was kind of bad. So yeah, it's been a long, 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 long day. Because after that, I had to take care of everything for the evening, and now I'm finally recording. But it's fine. She's going to be okay. She's back to being able to walk on it. She's still a little limpy on it. I went down easily. Woo! 307 polka dollars. Just today, I'll back off easily. Just today, you say. <laughs> I don't have any healing items except for what set seven hyper potions. Um. Okay. Yeah. Why not? I have a feeling I'm not gonna need too many of those. Phew, that trio, you've already defeated. If I liken them to food, they would be the hors d'oeuvres. The real battle begins now. Again with the sideburns, the mutton chops. Pineco and Maltoy.
Um. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of Pineco because I don't need a self destruct right now. I don't. I just really don't. Dun 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 dun. How many Pokemon does this guy have? Four. So he's got more than the others. Houndour. That's a nifty Pokemon. I'm 100%. I was literally about to say I'm 100% okay with using Psychic Attacks on Espeon. And then you confused me. This is just going to be a really bad round. Oh no, Espeon broke through! Wait. Ball toys, I... This is going to be bad. Yeah. So... What I'm actually going to do... I'm still gonna pull Yanma out, but I'm gonna use Swift instead. Because with Swift, it'll hit both of them, and I can actually damage Houndour, and Baltoy won't resist. Because Normal still hits ground. Uh, Espeon is poo when it comes to physical attack. Wait, is Swift physical? I think it is. Oh, that's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Oh, no. Nope. Well, I mean, yeah, it's bad, but still. I figured the ammo was going to go down. Um. Yeah, let's send out Ane. We're not sending out Ane. Ani, you did well. Come back. Man time! <laughs> oh, I don't know what I just did. I wasn't paying attention to what I did with Espeon. Swift. Okay, that's fine. Well, I mean, I couldn't do anything else. Ooh, that crit! Nice money. Swift is a move that never misses, but it just missed. Hehehehe. <laughs> Aw, dang. I was hoping Mantine would have one bar empty. Dang it! One. I was hoping that would finish Houndour. I'm hoping for a lot that's not happening. Let's see if Mantine can at least take out the ball toy. Man. That's what I was waiting on with the Hound Tower. Well, now's your time to shine, Dunsparce. See what we can do. Mantine takes out Houndour. Oh, a Graveler. Why are you still. Ugh, Dunsparce, why, bro? Get done sparse. That's an alright amount. You 
You know, Telly said I had somebody on my team that looked like Magic Steve. Are you talking about Dunsparce, Telly? Magic Steve is, um, Soul Chris, Dark Souls 3 LP. Um, his character that he built for Dark Souls, his Dark Souls 3 LP. I don't know why it took so many tries for me to actually get those words out of my mouth, but I did do it. Antine, I wish you had bump. Bull beam right now. Oh my god. Are you seeing this? I don't know. Do. Should I change out? <sighs> Not items. Is Bite special in this still? Yeah, we're gonna do it just because... <sighs> Umbreon's also a higher level. Well, maybe Mantine will learn Bubble Beam. And times part flying. I cannot catch a break with types tonight. Thank God this isn't a Nuzlocke. He's so bad. Much better. Don't do that at Mantine. Why'd you gotta do that to Mantine? Done, sparse. Alright, let's go. End it, Umbreon. Boom. GG. she wrote. Dun dun. Please no. The real battle begins after me. Yeah, we're gonna go heal because I got nothing. That was just bad. And I apologize, you might see me doing this a couple more times, just running back and forth. Because these battles... <sighs> Not super tough, it's just with Shadow Pokemon only having Shadow Rush. So I can't take advantage of... Like, Mantine's Bubble Beam, which would have destroyed that round. But I don't have it yet. I might have it now, I don't know what Mantine unlocked. I'll find out next battle, or something. I think I gotta go all the way up to 10. Wow, you've come a long, long way from home. You sure, you should be proud of yourself. But prepare for a thrashing, I never miss targets once I get them in my sights. Okay. I mean, the last person KO'd like three of my Pokemon, so... A trap inch! Om nom nom nom. And the Lily, whatever. There we go. Let's hope Yamna can finish him. These Pokemon are pretty high level. Level 38? Yes! 
slowly but surely making progress. Yay, sandstorm! I guess all of her Pokemon are like ground or rock. Come on, Espeon! Finish him! I will take a crit all day long. Let's do it. Come on, Espeon. Another Trap Inch! Look at you. You should really let those things evolve. You know, I wonder if there's a move that gets some buff from Sandstorm, kind of like how... Um, Thunder is 100% hit chance in when it's raining, and then like um, Solar Beam can shoot without having to charge up, and when it's sunny out, um, and I think Blizzard gets something when it's hailing. Strength. Ooh. Ooh. That was a big hit. Well, Yamma's gonna get his new move and then he's gonna go night night. <laughs> I over did my joystick. Goodbye, Trappage. And Yamma has his new move. Let's hope it's something that I can actually use. That's the other thing is, just because you unlock a new move doesn't mean it's going to be useful. Yay, Espeon! Decent! That three special attack is very, almost a hundred special attack. I can dig it. Oh, that's super effective. Oh! Yeah, that makes more sense. Finish off the Yanma, even though it's super effective against Espeon. I can see that. Um, Mantine. Cause we need to see what move Mantine learned. Hi Mantine. I'd love a water move. Not gonna lie. Would love for it to be a water move you learned. Why is everything no, something like supersonic, confuse ray, just something like, wow, the leap's a lot tougher than I thought it was, and special defense too, whoa, and in physical, oh my gosh. I knew that was going to hurt. It had ingrain. Boom. That's, that's all I needed in that crit. Next time we meet, I really won't let you escape. We are just gonna push ahead.
because I don't really... Hello, hello, hello! If you want to get by me, you have to watch my performance! Okay, let the show begin! I thought about trying to do the British Eagles um, Starbucks Girl, but I, I cannot make myself do that. Oh my gosh. Is Cacnea dark? Or is it not dark until it turns into Cacturn? We're gonna have to find out. Oh! Nope. It is not dark yet. Cool. I'm not mad, Mantine. That's fine. That's fine. That's not fine. Teeter dance. Oh. Really? Is that some sort of a weird thing that only Cacnea can learn? Did that snap me out of confusion? Is that a thing? Could you not, Espeon? Could you not? Nice. Needle arm. That's a cool sounding move. That's a nice use of a hyper potion. Oh, I was hoping that snapped you out of Could you not, Mantine? Could you not, please? Why does Spinda know Psybeam? I didn't realize it learned Psybeam. Don't hit man time. That's fine. Espeon, please. Get out of here, Cacnea. I got enough other problems to worry about. Really? A Kadabra. Oh, it used it. Bad part is I'm still going to take damage no matter what. We're actually going to just play it smart, <clears throat> and instead of swapping out to something else, we're just going to swap into Umbreon. Since she wants to go Psychic against me, we'll just use something that your Psychic has no effect against. It's the best I got. Let's say we finish you before that future site can take effect. Goodbye, Kadabra. Could you not, Espeon? I didn't know you could double up on future site. Does it does it count? Like it doesn't replace the other one, so where you could just stack future sites? Interesting tactic. Come on, Espeon. And you hurt yourself. That didn't do much of anything. Is Spinda bulky? Go 
go Dunsparce. I got nothing else to throw it, because I don't want to bring out Ane. Not because there's anything wrong with Ane, I just don't want to bring her out. I'd rather bring out Dunsparce and clear up its Shadow Gauge. Yeah, I guess you can just stack a whole bunch of future sites. That's interesting. I never knew you could do that. Like, you could set up for a bunch of Pokemon. My performance is ruined! I thought you performed admirably with losing. Nobody would pay to see my show. Um. Yeah, as much as I'm loath to have to do so, I'm gonna walk back. So I thought I had to fight her again. Oh, six would feed a cheese. What were those incompetents doing? This is where the buck stops. Sure it is. Weeg. Traveler and a Vibrava. Oh, Vibrava. I like Vibrava. I like dragonflies, so. Hit Graveler. Was hoping you'd KO it. Was hoping you would do a lot more damage. You did not deliver. was not pretty that I am sorry mantine but go to go Dunsparce no we cannot take another one of those that's just bad there we go goodbye graveler Sand Slash. That's nice. Yeah. No big deal for Dunsparce. Lose some speed, but no big deal. Glare. It's the one that paralyzes, isn't it? There we go. I'm pretty sure Dunsparce. Oh, that sucks. Really? <clears throat> really? Reflect. Wait, is Dig special or physical? I don't know. I'm still not sure. Dunsparce, why have you betrayed me so? Beam. Yes. Yes. I 
15 more power? Yes. painful. Mm. Let's go with Yanma. No! I didn't mean to click helping hand again. Oh, this was a waste. Boom, that does fixed damage. Also, Psybeam. Oh, both of these attacks are going to be wasted. No. Cool. Psybeam. Bad. So what side beam can do. Yes. Goodbye, sand slash. You made me lose. They're not gonna hire me after guess. Hire me again. Um. Oh, now we're getting into Cypher Agents. Alright, so before we start against them, I think I'm going to call it here. Um, it's just been a lot of just grinding out these guys. Sorry about that. Uh, but thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, if you have any naming suggestions for any of our remaining Shadow Pokemon, uh, don't forget to let me know. So, thank you and take care.